It's a Friday morning, man. Hope you're getting ready for the weekend. A lot going down this weekend, I can't lie. A lot of things, the weather's getting better. It's nasty outside. I hope y'all know what's going down this summer, because I do. I'm thinking a lot of you guys need to relax, stay inside, go to a couple parties, figure out what are the good parties to go to, and figure out the type of people that's going to be in these parties. Because I'm telling you, it's nasty outside. We are doing this work um, on the dirty side, and everything we see is straight nasty work. But, do got some good news for y'all today. We are going to be on the radio today at 6 to 8 on www.digiwaxradio.com. I'm sorry, LV. Yeah. Digiwaxradio.com. There we go. There we go. They say I don't need the W's. That's old school, they say. Yes. So, digiwaxradio.com. The link is at the bottom. You can see it. Um, It's pinned at the bottom of the page. We on there every Friday from 6 to 8. And we playing some exclusives from the platform. What's really good? I got my boy Paulie in the building tonight. Yo. What's going on, Paulie? I'm feeling good, man. I'm happy that the Dirty Side fans like me. Of course, they love Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. What's going on in the Bronx? How's it looking in the Bronx? Nasty. It's nasty work out there? It's, no, it's good work. It's sundresses. It's a lot of pretty women walking around. It's a lot of people. I know. It's going to be hot outside. That's one thing I do say about New York. The sundresses are out. Sundress Let's season. get the, the chicks with the sundresses out. Bomb! I want to see the sundresses, ladies. LV2. Escucha me. Now, let me ask you. For me. Do they wear underwear underneath these sundresses? I always wanted to know. Or are they wearing thongs? Some of them don't. And some of them you can't don't. wear grandma panties with them sundresses. No, those are thongs. Those are thongs, right? Absolutely. Some don't wear none of your know, you think? It, possibility. Possibility. <laughs> so I need y'all to get I need y'all to get in the comments. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if y'all from Fordham Road in the Bronx. Aye, aye, aye. There we go. If you're from Fordham, Fordham in the Bronx, over there. we'll say Fordham in the Bronx. Get in them comments and let me know. Are the females, and yes, your females are looking good. Even the BBWs are even looking good. Let's give the BBWs a bomb. Yeah. Let's give the BBWs a bomb. Even they looking good out, out in the streets these days. So, let me know. Are the females in the streets these days that wear sundresses when it's 90 degree weather, do they have on panties? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I really want to know this. Because the, the sundresses are all I love that. The, we should have asked. We got LA Love answer. ain't going to answer that question. She might. She might? No, she don't. She's going to answer that. She's official. I she, mean, gonna she loves you. you answer it. Well, you know what? She loves we you, gonna, We'll tag LA Love we'll ask her, yeah. um, on the gram Why not? tomorrow morning Word. with this. And we'll see if she replies back on the no, gram to see she, what she she's saying. queen natural and team natural. So, LA Love, the question is, when y'all wear sundresses, do you have more pennies? Right. That's all. We want to know. Just want to know. We ain't visioning if it's you with the um, no panties on. I mean, <laughs> but Shay, you know, next, next statement, Shay. Yes. Next topic. Exactly. We love you on the dirty Let's side. Give LA love a bomb. She gave a good interview the other day. Yes, sir. Shout out to LA love and mama. And the momager too. Shout out to the momager. Okay. I want to get the show started, but it's Friday. How the hell are we gonna get the show started? Without LV Perjum. giving them the famous Perjum. Let's get it. Yes, sir. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and it is up. The smoke is lit. This is our breakfast. Y'all see all the smoke. Oh, it is crazy. Yo, that look crazy right there. Y'all pulling some hella gas. What is that? Um, gumbo. What, what, That's gumbo? Yes, sir. And Pepper oh, Haze. we smoking gumbo tonight. We're going old school, new school. Purple Haze gumbo. Okay, Purple Billy. Haze and the Gumbo's lit in the building. Yes, sir. So. Only the best at Shea, baby. I got something for LV, because LV, you know, he, he, he's he been in hip-hop for a long time since I've known him. Um, He's always been a producer. He's always been an engineer type. He's always been able to set up anything has to do with music equipment. That's so, a fact. So, I remember listening to both of the crews back, um, the G-Unit and the Murder, Inc. We was feeling them. Of course. Of course. So, your man Ja Rule says he plans on selling his catalog. Should he do so? At this point? I mean, yeah, why not? I'm not saying that Ja Rule's done, but 
if it makes sense, why not go for it? Yes. Listen, he's not the first one. But I think Avi makes a good that. point. A lot of uh, I think artists have uh, done sold their catalog, even producers. At the end of the day, it takes money to make more money. So if you right. want to go up, sell your shit and make another one. Uh, Whatever. Let's keep it real. Yeah. He's not making another hit. So so I mean, come oh, on. All right, all right. Let's keep it on it. Can I be honest, Shay? Yeah, that's what I was going at. He's not making I, I another yeah, hit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, Shay, know. I don't know how that works. I mean, works. if this was 20 years ago, I'd be it's, it. it's not to kill him. It's no, just... but how does that work? When you sell your masses, what does that mean? Can you okay, explain it to me? Okay, when you sell it, right, you pretty much sell from there on out. All the royalties that collected, that work. That belong to you now belong to whoever. whoever I wouldn't sell it. He got elevated music. Oh my god! Right, he no. got elevated music. I wouldn't sell it. But, but may- the question is, he might need how much. Can. That's what I said. I mean, if, if he gonna sense. get like five hundred million, I gotta owns- sell it. But who owns it? Oh, nah. How much you think it's worth? But do they do they Somebody own it? Somebody just sold theirs for like two hundred million. Who was it? Okay, Ja Rudo. How much you think it's worth? Ja Rules. Um. Just a guesstimate from you, because you know your paperwork's right. You down with BMI, all ASCAP, of that, all that, ASCAP, that, ASCAP. Okay. All that is a, you. I say hundred million. Guess give that a bomb. I I, I agree. I agree. What you think? It could be a hundred. They just gave the they just gave Migos three hundred. Um, and at the end of the day, the, the guy got hits. He got real hits. So you say three hundred million? Got stadium status music. I say three hundred million might be. I don't know. Much. I don't know. But I think it could be. But like what LV said, a hundred plus guarantee. If I'm the agent, I, there's no way less. I'm getting less than a hundred million. I think three hundred million is way too much. What could that be without my baby? But they gave you Migos crazy? 300 but, bro. Yeah, but you know the difference is. Don't let me explain to you Close about to me. the Migos. The Migos is in a new era of streaming, right. and from here on out, especially after this, definitely after takeoff. Got murdered. RP takeoff. Yeah, RP takeoff. I feel like their catalog might be worth a little bit more because they put out more music in a little bit of time. They have more songs no, floating around. Uh, say, let me be you clear. know what I mean? I, let me be clear. You understand Absolutely. what I'm trying to say, right? Let me like, be clear. They already though. got like 10 mixtapes You're right. of albums. But I'm not comparing them, but I was just saying Ja Rule and Murder Inc., Big Bro, LV, are you kidding me? They got hit. Bro. Yeah, but I can't say Ja Rule's bigger than the Migos. The Migos no, is rock No, no, I'm just saying as, a, as like, you're right. That was a bad statement on my You know my what I'm saying? They're like same no, level No, I don't want to compare them. Migos I'm just is... saying, I've seen people get 80 million, 90 million for the catalog. Ja Rule, he got hit, though. Yeah, yeah, so he could be in a... He got real hit. I say one to three. No doubt. One to we... He, the max is 300 million. Okay. You, you, you agree on that, LV? I don't know about max, because I don't know what those songs done. They all probably diamond. He got a lot of diamond songs. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna give him that. Okay, so okay, so yeah, I need the little calculations. Real quick. <laughs> you say about one to three. You say one to three. Yo, but all we know, is some of his albums went diamond. Like lot, he got, he got diamond cl- singles. He has That's a lot definitely. of, he got a lot of stuff going on. Man. So you say one to three, Paulie? Oh yeah, bro, he, it's a big time. I wish I was the agent for that. <laughs> okay, so we say one to three. Feed. I need the people to get in the comments and let me know what do y'all think. What is Ja Rule's? Music catalog worth. You can give us a number in the comments. We're saying one to three. Y'all let me know what y'all think. All right. Here's some more bonchanchera sauce for them. <laughs> yeah, I like how you say that. So bonchanchera sauce for them. That was better. Here we go. Check this out. Apparently, Annalie Chopper snatched DDG's chain yesterday and did not give it back. Whose chain? DDG. Excuse me. What? Yeah, it says that he snatched DDD's chain. Um, the incident went down in the latest episode of DDG's ongoing vlog series, and it happened after the two rap stars were discussing Chopper's latest single, Slut Me Out. Wait, they talking about the Pound Town chick. Oh, Slut me out. out. Slut yeah, sexy me rap. out. He's hating if he has something to say about that song. That song is not only is it fire. He had the Pound Town Thotties in there. Give him a bomb. That's one of my favorite videos out right now. Are you serious? Let's read what DDG else had to happen here. He said, um, two rap stars were discussing Chopper's latest single, Slept Me Out, in DDG's kitchen. 
Chopper can be seen rubbing his hands like Birdman and tries not to glaze too much at the massive chain around the Michigan rapper's neck. You straight? DDG asked the 30 minute mark after the moment of awkward silence. Yeah, I'm good, man. And then he just snatched the chain. Wow. He's on bad timing. That's crazy. On camera? That's crazy. First of all, he, he said, he said the, um, he said, yeah, he said, um, okay, so he said to DDG, he said, yeah, I'm good. He said, that change is hard, bro, Chopper replied. And then he said, uh, you got more change than me. DDG said, you got more change than me. And then he said, <laughs> he said, yeah, but now I'm about to have more. And then he snatched it. That's what, that happened. That's what he said it happened, bro. Oh. That's nasty work, man. Nasty work. And I'm getting this from all hip hop access. So the um hip hop DX, whatever that is. So uh wait, hold on. They got the little footage of it right here. Let me see. It changes. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I might I might got it. Yeah, you got it. Don't change to me, nigga. Don't you? Shit, I can have some milk. <laughs> Not like I can buy more jewelry. Yeah, I know. I like the, I like the, uh... He sized them up right there with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. up. Oh, yeah, we're going to drop this on the page for y'all so y'all can see this. But that ain't type Pieces. Like one of them Something like that, right? Oh, we ain't going to give y'all all the sauce. Well, he snatches the chain right there. I'm going to put it on the page for them. So that I'm going to add it in the... In the scene, so they can see all that and everything crazy, like that. Yeah, that makes sense for them to see that. This is nasty work right here. Wow, what's wrong with these dudes? These guys are millionaires, man. Wow, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, son. You gotta hit with the old school. Come on, son. These guys come are on, millionaires. Son. What are we what doing, are doing here? Yeah, Wallen. That's crazy. I mean, how does DDG even go for that though? Cause I, cause I, once I hear you start talking like that, I'm like, yo, cut the camera, dog. Yeah. Absolutely. Yo, dog, what's good, dog? Nah, nope. Some somebody else was wouldn't even said uh, cut the cameras off. Yeah, it just went Somebody's down. Like, hooked them. Yeah, that's what oh. I'm saying. What's happening? Like, what do you mean? You like you heard what he was Yo, saying? It seems it seemed a little saucy, right? He said I could have more chains, but I do like that slut. Like, hey, I, uh, take it. Hold that. You like the song? Do I? I love that song. Slut me out. What's that's her fire. name? What's her, what's her name again? That's L L L E Chopper. With the girl, what's the girl? Sexy name? Red. Sexy Red. Sexy Red. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, he has Sookie in the video what's and that, all that. Uh, uh, where's she from? St. Louis. Yeah, he's Sexy like, Red is hard. Hundred percent. What you think about Sexy Red, Shay? I, I think she's one of the hottest little joints in the game. I mean, shout out to her. They might sound right. Yeah, I mean, you could call her that all you want. It's just, I, I'm I'm feeling that. We need to get her on the platy. Of course, if if Sexy Red want to come to the platy, well, yeah, we love to sit down with Sexy Red. Or if she is, you already know. Scooch yeah. her. It doesn't matter. Sexy Red, we it got the red matter. carpet for you. Come through. I'll ask Shea Baby TV and let's let's get it. That's crazy. I don't even want to kill this right here. They said that they saw Flavor Flav delivering pizza. I'm not even going to get into that because I'm not going to kill Flavor like that. I'm not even going to kill Flavor like that. He probably had pizza. <laughs> he probably had like some pie for his family. Yo, <laughs> y'all gotta relax. Yo, the internet yeah. wins again. The they said they saw him delivering pizza, Yo, my boy. Relax. He probably dropped it off mad pies to his little homie. That's not good, though. That's nasty work. Why would you even put that in the tabloids? That's exactly, flavor. Man, stop, he created hip-hop. You want to say that man's um, delivering pizza? He's a legend. That's nasty work, man. Disrespect the legend. I'm not feeling that at all, man. They shouldn't do that to Flav, man. So what y'all think about the NBA? LeBron looking like he's going to be something this year or he's, or he's going home? At this point, I just left everything alone. I even deleted my FanDuel account. Yeah, uh, let's give that a bomb. Yeah. Fuck FanDuel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Facts. Oh, they lost again? Oh, Yo, they no. covered the spread. The no. Lakers lost again? Yo, they lost. Three, two, one, the oh, Lakers hold on, hold on. lost again five, last they night. They pushed on the spread. What was the score? They lost by five? Yeah. They pushed on that wow. spread last night, bro. That's the, that's the book. And it was minus five plus five. Oh, my. Yo, Vegas is too smart, dog. Vegas is real last smart. Last night was ill. Oh, this is pretty dope. What happened? Okay, so I'm going to smooth something a little on a happy note. Ludacris got honored a star. On uh, the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame today. Oh, let's give that a bomb. Yo, I like that. Bye.
That's pretty dope. I feel like the hip hop game doesn't give Ludacris you know enough who credit. Move the 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 revealing of the star. Who his co-hosts is from? Uh, I mean, his co-stars from. Uh, Fast and Furious? Yeah, like the D. Oh, give him a bomb. Yeah, that was so dope. Give him a bomb. Him, you know what I mean? I feel like that hip hop game doesn't give Ludacris enough credit. It he's does not. Goat. They don't. They, he, he, they he don't even is, talk no, about yo, him. Yo, he's a goat. Nice. Not only is he nice, he's a fucking movie no, star. No, but beyond that, even like the illest spitters respect him, like killer style. Yo, he, oh, yo, he, you he, gotta hear how people He talk was about killing him. these dudes gotta, in the, back yo, in the day. Yo, he became a tracks. He became a hell of an actor, too. Yo, yes. Yo, he's a great actor. Shout out to DTP, Shaka, the whole team. He did a lot of, uh, not just movies, and but he was in Law and Order, a lot of TV shows. That's what I'm saying. He's just a he's just a businessman, a mogul. Shout out to Ludacris. That was dope. Shout out to him. No, that's that's definitely dope. But I just, like I said, I just feel like they don't give him enough credit. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, they got to stop doing that, man. Yo, I seen something. Did you know The weekend is covering Vanity Fair, that magazine? Uh-huh. That's kind of a big deal. For yeah. For hip-hop. What you think about that? Vanity Fair is like... Uh... It's different. It's like Vogue. It's like you know, Vogue. Vanity Fair is official. So, so what do you think about The weekend covering that? Oh, the weekend is... Yo, listen. What do you mean? What do you mean by covering? He's on a cover. Let me tell you something about the weekend. Let me tell you something about the weekend. Come on. Let me tell you something about the weekend. No, that's big though. The weekend is the illest. Yes, he's dope. You want to? You know that song that I'll die for you. You know that that's the name of it, right? No, that's the melody. Die for you. That's not the name. Yeah, that song. That song. That's the name of it, dude. That song's like three, four years old. I got you. They keep re-releasing it because it's a hit. He was homeless. When? When he made that song. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was confusing him with Rest in Peace, uh, PNB Rock. Facts. God bless. God bless. God, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless. Yeah. Facts. Okay. No, but that, yeah, that Dive for You song is real old. They kept releasing it because it's so good, man. That's just, me, shit. That was that's random, but. That's records. He's on the records. He's giving chills, man. Right. I think it was, that's dope. Oh, yeah, I love The Weeknd. He deserves it. Shout out to The Weeknd. Let's get The Weeknd another bomb, man. You know, uh, the whole EXO family. That's a fact. Yo, they're nice. They're all nice. Why you didn't, yeah. why you didn't ask me would I like to interview The Weeknd? Would you like to interview The weekend? I would love to interview The weekend. We need to get The weekend on a platy. Yes, we do. I'm going to get... We can go to LA and find him. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go to Hidden Hills. Okay. We're going to have to fuck calls, make some calls. Yeah, you know everybody. Yeah, no, shout out Yo, to The weekend. Yo, weekend will be ill on, on Industry Wednesday. Of People course, will lose man. their mind. Have him on there smoking weed. Fire. He might start sniffing coke and all that. But oh, like, oh shit, The weekend giving it up like that in here? <laughs> Let's get to it the weekend. If he does, he makes some fucking hits. Okay, so Rich the Kid, uh, he's asking for touring Bricks back after the alleged cheating allegations that he's What are you doing? What? Rich the Kid, what are you doing? I don't know, son. Why? Uh, why? You have it all. You have right it all right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? He had, no, all, yo, yo. he had it all right in his hands. Does it, does it, do we know who was it with? Well, they don't tell you the girl that he was cheating with, but. He yeah, had, but you know, nine out of ten times, they look nothing like what they had at home. Right. Yo, let me tell you something. No disrespect to, to, let me to tell you any something. ladies or any women. You know what? I'm just trying to say, honestly, like, you had it all at home, my dude. Honestly? No, no. I'm going to be real with you. And, 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 I'm, and I'm not trying to kill nobody. I'm just keeping it a hundred. Matter of fact, let me give myself a bump. Think about it, Paulie. Yes, sir. When a girl does a photo shoot, they all look good. Absolutely. Right? So it, you kind of kind of make it hard to believe how these artists cheat on these bad girls. These girls look good because they always have makeup on. True. There are boogers in the hood that look way better than all these girls. So that's why I can understand these guys cheating on these girls. If they're a cheater, a cheater's a cheater. Yeah, it doesn't matter. How it doesn't matter. Even because did, there's always going to be something bad. Ali Berry's ex husband cheat on her or something like that? Who? Ali Berry. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. you know what I mean? It didn't matter. It's I guess, on a dude. It's, it's on a dude in like, the relationship y'all got. It's just, I guess, the lifestyle that. Rich the Kid is living, so I guess Rich the Kid is asking for forgiveness because he is a rapper. He's been just throwing pussy to these guys every 30 seconds, man. What does that oh, mean? he's asking for forgiveness? You know he what I mean? He should. It's going to be just like all you thirsties is all in torn bricks DMs. Yeah. These thotties is in. That's true. Um, Rich the Kid's kid. DMs. Absolutely. Women are different now. Women's are different. They be Women's shooting. I'm in the club. The pound town has changed shooting. the game. Yo, they be I'm shooting. I'm in the club. I'm having a good time. I'm with the homies. After all said and done, I'm going back home to my woman. Yes. Give him a bomb There's for that. No, 
Shit, he deserves a bomb for that. That's cool. Oh, my. That's hard. Homie made the test. Like now he's asking for forgiveness. Exactly. Oh, you know what I want to talk about tonight? Snoop Dogg doing the remix with Scarlett. Shout out to Unk. I saw that. That was Shout hard. Shout out to Unk. I gonna lie. That was hard. I, yo, out of all the old vets, Snoop killed it the hardest. So far. Snoop is ill. He's in his own think? league. He killed it. He killed it, son. He did. He's kind of telling us to stay the F out of LA. Cali. Mm. That's what he said. That's what he was saying. Stay the F out of LA. Stay the F out of LA. But he's giving up. But he wasn't saying it nah, like. Nah, he's not. Nah, he's not saying like that. He's pretty much man. telling. I felt it like, like he's just going with the vibe of the record, man. That, yeah, nah, know, that's hard though. It was, it's dope. Yeah, it's but dope. I'm feeling it. If you're from New York, you might want to take that and let it sit. You have let to. it sit in there a little bit. You have to. stop smoking all the gas and let it go on one ear and out the other. Listen to what he's saying. All y'all are getting left out there. Stay the fuck out of L.A. It's not stay the fuck out of L.A. It's like... Pass y'all, through. Y'all stay moving, in a hotel. Y'all moving walkie. Walkie. Yeah. Going to eat Roscoe's with a chick, no security. Shay Baby's never doing that. Never. It's true, though. You got, When you're in L.A., it's just... When you anyway, you got to respect the land. If you don't know the land, you can't just be going outside doing anything. You gotta make calls and see what's nah, you gotta on. move around. You gotta, you gotta respect the land, though. It's even respect the in land. Cleveland and Tampa and Men- in, in Memphis, where they from, yo, Gotti and all the people from Memphis, it's gutter out there, bro. You gotta respect the land. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. You you gotta respect the no land. No matter where you at. Yeah. You got to. Especially LA. Or stay the f- or stay the f- out of LA. That's a fact. Or stay the f- out of New York. Makes sense. Hell yeah. Definitely New York. But we're talking about the record. Good yeah. song. Fire. Scarlet is. Shout out to her. Yeah, it's my baby. I love Scarlett. Oh, shout out to her. Day. She's a good piece. She's a good person. You, you know what? I no love pro- when she no said, problem. When she said, thank you, Shea Baby TV, I was like, yo, that, that means she's real and she's a humble person. You know? Yeah, Scarlett, no problem. Let can go catch the, the interview with us with Scarlett. We got part two coming too soon, too. We working on a few things, but we will have part two. Part one, Instagram jammed us up, got our lips looking like we in Chinese movies, but we did the interview, so we're going to put it out. You know what I mean? Now, get the out of New York. Out of New York. What the fuck? Nah, that girl's going. I got a lot of tone. When he said that I felt like I played for the Knicks when we were listening to it that yeah. first night, I got goosebumps. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think Cardi oh, B is going to get on that record? Yes. She should. Absolutely. She, should. she jumped on everything else that's hard. I yeah, think if Cardi B gets on it, Barty, it takes the record to the next level. Yes, I but hope so. Also, I'm telling you, it takes her to the next level, too. No, it's going on a rocket right to the moon. Right to the moon, Fall. Yeah, Come on, Barty. I feel like she needs to be on this record. need you, Barty. She's losing one. it a little bit. Who? Cardi. Car- no, absolutely not. I'm talking about the... Musically-wise, you Musically-wise. Oh. Not I mean, looks not She gonna either. always look no, good. I'm not saying money either because, you know, she got paper, but musically, yeah, she hasn't put that out in a while. Put nothing out. I just saw she did something with uh, Beats by Dre. Buy a uh, commercial. Oh, no, no. Nah, she's doing... She always going to be a superstar like that. Yeah, like, shout out to the Bronx. Like, like that. I'm talking about as far as... Music, yeah. Like she, the she, last street... We need her back in the... Street Cardi, records she was on. in the studio. Nah, niggas was feeling her when she was on... And what that sound? When she was yeah, on there with... Um, oh, Be Love. Be Love. I'm not a step up. Bitch, yeah. I'm a stomp. That was fire. Yeah, was The hard. streets, the drug... They, they, they loved it in that video. Yeah. So I feel like this one is more of a book bag record. That sample was crazy too. The way I want to see. Hard. Let me know if y'all think Cardi B could walk on the fuck out of New York record. Okay, I think. Get she- in the comments. Let me think. Let me know if you think Cardi B could even spit sixteen bars on that record and sound good. And let me know what type of stuff she'll be talking on there. What, what you think? think? What, what do you think, think she'll be talking about? Oh, she going she going to go in. She going to go in. She, she going to go in, she right? Might, she she going to take her for a walk. Stripper days. I don't know. Who nah, I love Cardi B. So I, go, I, I would love to hear that. Walk, she going to go crazy. Yeah. You know who I don't for some reason just get, like I don't know. My sound hard on that. A Boogie. What you think about A Boogie and Cardi? On the uh, with Scarlett? On the New York. Oh movies. my god, it's done. She's out of here, right? Oh man, but then I just heard Don Q too. You know, as a producer, I'm mm. Don Q. You know I mean? Yo, Don Q. He been low. He's been low, but as my man nephew, Don Q. He Not like Don Q work. too. I like Don Q. Don Q's Sorry. like the baby Styles P. Facts. I ain't gonna lie. He got balls. He got the delivery, the energy. Were you said you guys said something that would happen in Atlanta? If this was Atlanta, they would definitely get on a record. With her. Of course, the, all the top. That's artists. how the South rocks. Remember, remember, they got on go all go everything. What you think? Maybe fall in love with South music, huh? 
Oh, well, I mean with the with the whole South culture. Who? Going down to the Coors DJ oh, yeah. back in 07 and seeing eh, how... Eh, eh, just seeing eh, how... Eh, I'm going down. Eh, 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 Shout out to Jock. Yeah, we was down there with that. Yo, I was Bats. riding with everybody. I was with Lil Webby. We was partying with all types of... Uh, uh, Her and Chris. That's how it is in the A. Word. They showed us love. so much love. It's oh, Wakanda. my man, P. Wonder from South Carolina. And uh, 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 his DJ out there, he's like the flex DJ, Wally Coyote. Just showed us so much fucking love and just... Let me tell you. When you go to all these... I don't know if they still do these type of music events, but when you go to these events... Make sure you mingle in and get people's numbers and don't sleep on them or forget. Because the guy that you think is the clown that you met in that penthouse two days ago, he could be number one on top of the charts. Wally Coyote. We thought he was just like, uh, he looked like Oh, a DJ Chicano. Wally Coyote, right? We thought he was like a Chicano. Goofy nigga, DJ. and he was that dude. Goofy, but like, you know, just whatever, regular DJ. No, he was the funk flex. Of, I think what they were from, uh, Charlotte or... Uh, yeah, let's give him a bomb. Oh, wow. Good dude, yeah, too. Coyote, Good dude. Oh, P. Wonder. That's a fact. I right. oh, remember P. Wonder. Right. Yeah, that was lit. That was lit. All right, y'all. It's enough is enough. We hitting 30 minutes. You know. I, can I end with this shit? Go ahead. End it. Let's go. Uh, Rick Ross um, and shout the Rap Star Energy Drink. They're going to be uh, sponsoring Dirty Side and Shape Baby TV. And, and the, oh, let's give that a bomb. Looking forward to working with them with LA Love and different things. Yeah, I would love to drink right. rap star Ross, show. I made a point and he said, we were talking about it earlier, friends not supporting friends. I don't like it. Well, you know, that's the name of the game because you got to remember. That is. Let me tell you something. But I, I, Let me tell you something. I, I, I I'm listening, that. Shay. I'm Let listening. me tell you something. And I hope this reaches out to a million people so they can understand this. This is my theory about friends. Okay. Got you. I don't say they're not my friends because they're not in the comments. They're not. You know what I mean? Reposting. They're reposting. Right. You know what I mean? I can't be mad at them. They accepted the fact of being who they are for the rest of their life. They go in their casket miserable. Palabra. That's what they're mad at. They're not mad at you. They're mad at themselves. They're mad at you because you are accepting the chance of, of, of doing what you want in your life. Or just becoming something. They're doing the average stuff that everybody's doing. Right. That's why they're mad. They're still your friends. They're just mad they don't have as much balls as you. My fucking balls hurt. My fucking balls hurt. Fuck. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all. You know what it is, y'all. Get some fucking balls. Get some balls. And man up. On that note, we're out of here. Love you. See y'all. We'll see y'all, I guess, Monday. With some, tomorrow, today's Friday, so we see them on Monday. We got a lot of things going on. Catch us on If you see this before 10 o'clock today, We'll be on Instagram. It's R&B Fridays. We've got a couple R&B acts going to be on there. Um, what else we got going on this weekend? 6 o'clock tonight, we'll be on the radio at um, on digiwaxradio.com, which is going to be playing a lot of hits. we got a lot of couple on exclusives on there. On Wednesday, Wednesdays, next week yeah. is going to be lit. So if you want to come rock with us tomorrow night, we got a lot going on. Let's do us on the radio.